After taking an indefinite hiatus, these pop punkers are finally ready to talk about their time away from the band. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're speaking with Ryan Key, lead singer of Yellow Card, about their album Southern Air and how it addresses their break. I think I have everything I need, it got dark, but now I think I see... Let's talk about Southern Air. Tell us what you guys were going for on that. Right now it's easy to kind of talk about both the two records we've put out post hiatus. The first one was driven by the you know band coming back together and the charge and the energy that, that we felt to go back out and tour again and I think you feel that on that record. I mean it is just in your face constantly. Whereas Southern Air being, even though it's it's the second record in the process, I think is more about the time leading up to when you're through thinking yes, say yes, than that record itself was. I think I had a chance to kind of look back and realize how we've ended up back where we are now and, and what led to that. And a lot of that for me was my time back home and I realized how important those two or three years were for me to be spending time with my family and off the road and having sort of an uncertain future and working a day job. I mean, we, you know, we were out of money and there was no, we had no idea what was going to happen. At the beginning, I mean, we were pretty convinced that that was it, that Yellow Card was going to be done. I think Southern Air is so much about shedding the negativity in your life and realizing, you know, how grateful you are for the things you have in your life. I think that's that's more what inspired Southern Air. Now I want to talk about awakening a little bit. I want this to be my awakening. Tell me a bit about the concept for that uh, song and the video. The song was uh, a riff that Ryan Mendez and I wrote after Yellow Card had already kind of disbanded for a while. Definitely feel like it's the best album opener we, we've ever written. I mean, it's just, I, I love starting the record with that song. I love starting the show with that song. I tell you now, an epic tale of what you put me through. The video, I just got an email saying, hey, the label wants to do this animated video. We need like a funny tour story. Our best tour story, kind of our funniest one, we already had done an animated version for MTV Canada. So I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. You know, I don't I don't know what PG-13 rated tour story I have to do for a video. But I remembered a story that uh, a, f a friend of mine had told me about one of the members of the band getting left at a truck stop and having to hitchhike and all this stuff, crazy stuff to make it to the show the next day. And so I just kind of wrote a treatment as if that was happening to me, happening to Yellow Card. I want this to be my awakening. Any favorite uh, collaborations from Yellow? We'd never done any kind of co-writing before. And on this record, I was sort of doing some weekend songwriting sessions with different people. Not, not for Yellow Card, just, just getting out and, and working on songwriting. I had the chance to start working with Patrick Stump who has always been a friend of mine, but uh, we obviously got a lot closer writing songs together. And Our producer gave us the challenge, kind of, of writing a song in a certain tempo. And we were like, why? And he said, well, that's everything that's on the radio right now, is in this time, in this time signature. And we don't really care about radio, it's not really a part of what we do anymore, and, and we're fine without it, but we thought, okay, let's try it. They say you don't grow up, you just grow up. super pop. It's a really pop song for Yellow Card. I had no idea where to go with it melodically or lyrically and I uh, was working with Patrick on a couple other things and I was like, hey man, you know, you're pretty good at writing pop songs. What do you think about listening to this demo and, and see if you have any ideas? So together we wrote all the melodies and lyrics. So many people close to me cut me down. This is supposed to be a bad luck town. It was a co-write that I thought and we thought as a band, fans would be really excited about. It wouldn't be like, oh, Yellow Card's, you know, doing these producer co-writes to get a hit, you know, and that's not really what we were doing. I was just hanging out with my buddy and the song ended up on the record, so um, most people seem to be pretty stoked on it. If I could 